the interesting thing uh, I think about all of this is that it's something that the customer perhaps won't go to the store and say I, I demand an HD voice uh, and even if the customer did uh, maybe the phones aren't clearly marked or mm -hmm. maybe the store doesn't really know that yet so there are uh, very interesting steps now one was taken here in uh, Barcelona where the GSM Association the, the operator organization uh, is going to really help uh, build awareness, uh, which may lead to even marking of the phone, so that the HD I'm, voice is, is clearly recognisable. I'm wondering then if it does become more of a business application as well. Uh, if you want to, you know, people moving from landline to uh, voice over IP in the in the enterprise network, so you could take that next step and then go to a wireless HD voice. Yeah, type. it's it, it's of interest to business, but it's it's of interest to the consumers and and the feedback because because the experience in the market is now almost 18 months in some countries. Okay. The feedback by talking to the customers is very very positive, very positive indeed. So okay. this is something to watch. It's got a build, but I think the important thing for your viewers to note is that the capability is probably there. It's probably in many modern phones that are shipping today. It just needs to be uh, activated. And there's, a, there's a, a business plan which could be thought about, which is more minutes, more revenue, uh, more calls being made, and the happier customers who uh, might reduce churn as well. So this is a really positive Interesting. indication. Interesting. Yeah. Again, you know, again, we do focus so much on data, so much on the next yeah. uh, thing that it's like, oh, let's let's go back and take care of our bread and butter. Probably the most exciting <laughs> development in mobile voice for many years.